Welcome back, Highlighters. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Hallie, also known as the Highlighted Pinup. And this is another makeup tutorial. So this one is going to be slightly different than my last one. My last one was really low key, just something that I do every day. This is something where I'm just upping my game slightly, uh, still not putting a ton on or anything like that, not full glamour, but just a step above. And like I said in my last video, just to clarify, I am not a makeup artist. I don't pretend to be. I have a lot of respect. Uh, this is just different ways and methods that I do my own makeup that hopefully may help you. I've already prepped my skin with sunscreen. I let that absorb just like I did the last time. And I'll just go into again how I do my basic brow and kind of moving into that. So first and foremost, I use my primer. And the reason I use a primer is because I'm pretty oily and I don't have any brows. So if I don't, they just slip and slide all over the place and they don't stick. So I just put a little bit on. This one just so happens to be the Prep and Prime from MAC. Any primer will do. I also tend to use the e.l.f. one from time to time, depending. And I just put that all over my lid. And then I just give it a second to dry and kind of get tacky. So that way, when I do start laying my product down, it wants to adhere to it. And it doesn't make a mess. And then again, just like the last time, I'm still going to use the e.l.f. Brow, brow pencil and I'm just going to kind of brush through them, the littles that I do have, and make sure they're smooth. It seems to be about tacky enough, so I'm going to start my brow application. And again, just pretty soft, short strokes versus trying to go really long. And I just build my shape in. Take the end of the spoolie and just kind of mess it up. And then I'll look for any gaps that seem to be a little too gappy and just kind of go over them. And I'll do it on the other side. Now again, I'm not super worried about like them being really defined at this point or anything like that. I'm gonna clean up around them, especially on both sides. And what's super funny is what they look like in the recording and what they look like on my mirror. Two different things. So this will be fun. So they're not entirely even, but they're close enough for me to work with. So I'm not worried about it. And then from there, I'm going to take my highbrow from Benefit and I'm going to kind of highlight them and then help clean them up. So here we go. I just sharpened it a little bit and I'm just going to put it underneath this area. And on this brow, since I went a little rogue, I'm going to bring the line up just a little bit and kind of even them out some more. And then I will take my trusty little flat brush and then blend everything in. And 
Now I see that I wiped just a little bit too much like right through here. So I'm just going to take my brow and just kind of smush that back in. I think everything looks fairly even. I can totally live with that. It's not a problem. <clears throat> so then I will take more of a dome brush, a rounded brush, kind of like this one. And I'm just going to still keep in with that kind of shimmery white powder and put it right into that area. Now in my last video, I used a lot more neutrals, uh, but actually when I go a little bit more glam, I tend to add a little bit more color, Born to Run palette. And it's got all these really fun colors on it. So the first one I'm gonna pick is Breakaway, which is just this kind of creamy one. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit into this. And I've swapped into this brush, kind of a little bit floofier. And I particularly like to do things like corals and pinks on my eyes. So then I'm gonna go into the still shot and that's what I'm going to lay into my crease area. And I'm just gonna keep doing that and doing like these little tiny circles. I'm not super choked up on the brush like this. I'm further back, so I'm not using a ton of pressure and I just keep blending it until I like it. And then once again, with the breakaway, which is that creamy color, I'm gonna go right in through here and kind of just soften that line of demarcation. Nothing crazy. To blend those two colors a little bit better. Now, if I want a little bit more heaviness on the eye, I usually go into like something like a copper, things like that. So I'll use the Ignite, which is that color. Same brush and then just drop that really into my crease and then kind of blend it up. So it's not super heavy or dark or anything like that. I'm not trying to go like a full cut, uh, just something that gives it still a little bit more definition so it just doesn't look like one solid wash of color. I think that's about as much color as I'm gonna want on my eyes for right now. So taking kind of a flat brush, I'm actually going to use my highlighter, one of them. This is from Milk. This is hmm, the Supernova. I'm gonna put it on here, my little brush, about that much. And then that's what I'm gonna put on my lid. And why I'm doing this is that it's gonna give whatever I put on top of that, just something to stick to and make it a little bit brighter. And so with the same brush, I'm going to go back into the Urban Decay palette, <clears throat> back with the Breakaway, which is that cream one, the first one, and then just pack that on my lid. And then I'm going to bring it in a little bit right in here because I don't like it to be super kind of cut right there. Prefer it a little bit blended. That's really just a preference. And then the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
I can see right in through kind of this area. I'm not super blended as much as I would like to be. So again, I'm just going to kind of go through here again with the breakaway and just soften that a little bit more. And it looks pretty smooth now, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to actually go into more face stuff. I don't use my liner until my face is done, just so that way I don't cut it off or do anything weird. Um, so that's just my preference. I also don't do anything on my face prior to my eyeshadow, so that way if I do get fallout, I can just kind of wipe it away and I don't have those problems. So what I'm going to use is the Next to Nothing Face Color. This is from MAC. Uh, and this, what this is, is just something that's a little bit more than a BB cream, but not quite a heavy uh, foundation. And I'm gonna use actually a pretty fluffy brush to apply it. I'm using this instead of a beauty blender because I really just want it kind of buffed out, even some skin tone, but I don't want uh, my actual skin to be really hot, like hidden or anything like that. So I'm just going to pump it right on to the brush. And then kind of spread it around a little bit and then just blend it in. It matches my color pretty well, so I'm not super focused on my neck. I'm just kind of blending it down a little bit, so that way I don't get any weird line of demarcation. But ultimately, I'm not super worried about it. It's not a super heavy coverage. And I'm going to be wearing my glasses again, so I'm not worried about that to put like to super cover it. If I was in my contacts, I would, uh, and I would do a lot more to make sure that where my glasses sit is invisible. So once I think that's pretty buffed out, everything looks pretty consistent and even, uh, I think that's good. Again, I'm not trying to do full glam or anything like that. This isn't one of those things. It's just something to make it a little bit more polished. And then I'm gonna move into my highlighting, which everyone knows I'm really about. So I'm going back to the milk. And what I'm gonna do is this time I'm gonna use my finger, just put a little bit on it. And then I'm going to tap in through this area. And this is exactly why I don't do like my liner or anything quite yet. Also, like you'll see like that, the demarcations, the liner is going to cover it. So I don't freak out or make that super perfect because I don't want to put more work into my routine than I have to. So once I think a decent amount is down, I'm going to go now over it with a powdered highlighter. And I've been using and loving the Pegasus from Atomic Beauty. So I'm gonna stick with that. Just gonna put it on a brush kind of like that and then tap it in. And then once it's kind of adhered, then I'm going to kind of buff it back in. getting pretty glowy, good with that. So because I did use something on my face to kind of even everything out, I am gonna go in with just a little bit of blush to just make sure that I'm not too washed out. I'm not really heavy handed with blush. This one is just like a really pinky color, uh, just to give just a little bit, just a regular blush brush. Swirl it in, tap off the excess, and then just put it right on my cheeks just to give a little bit more pigment right in through that area again I didn't take it all away so I'm not super worried about that but just something and I like to layer it 
over the highlighter, not under it, uh, just so that way it still maintains that really reflective surface. That's just a preference. Again, if you'd like to do your blush first, by all means, go for it. So everything seems pretty set how I like it. Again, this is just supposed to be a little bit of an upgrade, not going into a full beat category. So I feel this is good now to go ahead and just do my liner. This one I'm going to be using today is the Pat McGrath. And it's cool because it's a pen and I haven't really been playing with pens a lot. So this has been a nice mix up of my normal instead of using the brush. So this is the one we're gonna use. And same thing as last time, just kind of getting my lines in place. That seems about right. And then I'm gonna go in through here. Because this look is more dramatic, I'm doing a thicker liner than what I would normally on my day to day. Without lashes, I think that's pretty good because the mascara is not on yet. So again, maintain a reasonable expectation level on kind of evency and or evenness and stuff like that. But I don't like necessarily that super big gap between the lash line and the eyeliner. Sometimes it doesn't bother me, sometimes it does. So because in this scenario, I'm not super digging it, I'm going to actually do my upper line. So I just have just a black, uh, this one's e.l.f., it's just an eyeliner. And I'm gonna kinda just do that and then fill in underneath here to help take care of that little gappiness. If I was doing more of a full glamour look, I would've done this before the liquid, but I wasn't quite sure how this was gonna go, so I'm just playing it by ear. So that seemed to take care of that, so it's not super disconnected. I'm not worried about that. And then just to open my eye up a little bit more, I'm going to take the highbrow from Benefit and just do the under waterline. That seems to be about good. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more shadow just underneath, right in these corners. So I go back to the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to use the Ignite again. And I'm just gonna put it right here, just to give a little shadow. So nothing crazy, not blurring it out, not doing any sort of smoke, just kind of underlining that just a little bit. So now that I think that's giving me a better shape to how I want my eyes to look, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on. In this particular one, I'm going to use the Lashcraft Big Volume. This is just the Sephora brand mascara. I like it, it uh, I like the brush on it. The formula is pretty good. It doesn't flake or crack on me. And then I'm just gonna build my lashes out.
And I think that pretty much works for me. That's good enough. Again, this isn't <clears throat> going into crazy, crazy beats or anything like that. And now I'm just going to set it. I'm going to take the same brush that I like. First, go after the brows so that way they don't slip on me. And in through my T-zone. I tend to not put it a lot over my highlighter just simply because I don't want it to dull it down at all. Uh, that's just a preference. I know plenty of people who do and it's fine for them. So once that's looking good, I'm going to put on my lip. So for this look, I'm going to use this Dior. It is. Um, this is the Rogue Dior lip in triple nine. Yeah, matte. So I like this one because it's not, it's a pretty well balanced red. It's not super cool or super warm for that matter. And it's not a really strong wash of color, uh, or excuse me, not as like, it's strong, but it's not that really heavy, heavy red lip. And that looks pretty saturated and that's good. So it's not really intense. Everything kind of just complements each other and it's a more polished look than my daily, but it doesn't take me a ton more time. There you have it. Uh, this is just the step up of my normal tutorial that I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them here or on my TikTok. And always I will do my best to find them and then do my best to answer them. Bye.